everyone, this is Miwash from the Android Developer Relations team. In this video, we'll discuss three ways of modularizing your Android application and see how they compare. We'll also talk about three properties that you can use to describe your modular codebase. Let's go! There is no single modularization strategy that fits all projects. Due to the flexible nature of Gradle, there are a few constraints as to how you can organize a project. One way of doing so is to encapsulate each architecture layer inside a separate module. The recommended Android architecture describes three layers, data layer, UI layer, and optional domain layer. In a typical Android application, we could organize the modules as follows. The data module contains all the repositories and data sources. The domain module contains business logic and use cases. The domain module depends on the data module. The UI module consists of a user interface and state holders, most likely view models, composables, or views. It depends on the data and domain modules. So how do we know if this is a good strategy or not? We can use the three properties of a modular codebase to measure the quality of modularization. And those are cohesion, coupling, and granularity. A module with high cohesion has clearly defined responsibilities and consists of code that acts together as a system. Architecture layers tend to be cohesive by nature. They all have well-defined responsibilities and act as a system. Cohesion test passed. Another characteristic of a modular code is coupling. Coupling measures the degree to which modules depend on each other. Modules should strive to achieve low coupling, meaning they should be as independent as possible from one another, so that changes to one module have zero or minimal impact on other modules. Let's see how loosely or tightly coupled is our layered codebase. Any change to the UI module will be limited to the UI module itself. However, changing the public interface of the domain module might result in recompilation of the UI layer. Altering the public API of the data module might lead to recompilation of all the modules. In a small code base, that might work perfectly fine. However, if your modules are growing too large, you might consider increasing the granularity of your code base. Granularity is the extent to which your code base is composed of modules. In other words, it's the code base module count over its size. It's not measured in any concrete unit, but rather serves as a concept. A more granular code base has more smaller modules. If your modules are growing too large, you might end up with yet another monolith and miss the benefits that modularity has to offer. In a small project, it's okay to put the data layer inside a single module. But as the project grows and your modules with it, you might consider splitting some modules to smaller and more cohesive ones. Another way of approaching this problem is modularization by feature. Imagine a sample ebook application with three screens books, authors, and reviews. We could encapsulate each of those screens in a module and call them feature modules. Each feature module has distinct responsibility, acts as a system, and can be developed in isolation. However, if the book screen wants to show authors and reviews information, that could mean one of two things. Either that the book module has to implement author and reviews related functionality, which is already part of other modules, that means redundancy. Or that feature modules depend on each other. This, however, makes coupling too tight and prevents features from being developed in isolation. Seems like both solutions have their pros and cons. How about combining them? By grouping the modules by layer and feature, we increase the codebase granularity. Layers are no longer monoliths, but consist of multiple building blocks. Just like with separation by layer, modules can only depend on other modules from a layer below. UI modules are part of the UI layer and can only depend on domain and data modules. Domain modules depend on data modules only. Data modules do not have access to any modules in the upper architectural layers. This ensures that modules are cohesive because each one is highly specialized and independent. Modules are loosely coupled, so codebase can scale. Modules are granular, so they can easily be reused. I hope this video lightened up some modularization concepts for you. If you're hungry for more, be sure to check out the official guide to Android app modularization and the now in Android project. Cheers!